Imagine that you are at a racetrack and one of the race cars comes in for a pit stop. In addition to fuel, the car needs new tires. The spectators watch as a single pit crew member changes each tire one by one, and after about 25 minutes, the car returns to the track. Unfortunately, the race is already over. What went wrong? Sometimes time is a constraint that can't be negotiated. A new ski gondola must be installed before opening day. A new cruise ship must be ready to transport passengers who book their voyage a year in advance. And a bride's dress must be completed before her wedding day. When a project timeline is critical, meeting that timeline may require additional resources. And additional resources means additional costs. Now, let's get back to that pit stop. Isn't it more likely that there would be eight highly skilled crew members, two per tire, working to quickly get that race car back on the track in order to win the race? This is an example of schedule crashing, a schedule compression technique. When you need to compress or reduce the duration of an activity, you may designate more resources to it. When we designate additional resources to an activity in order to compress the schedule, it comes at a cost. Crashing is expensive, but it is a great option if your schedule is the top constraint for your project. It is important to understand that not every activity can be crashed. Activities such as downloading files or backing up servers cannot be compressed by adding more resources. However, for the remainder of this discussion, we are going to assume that the activities can be crashed. Let's say that today is June 1st and you are in the middle of a 12-month project. Everything has been progressing well and your project is on schedule. You are also proud of the fact that you've been coming in under budget. Then you receive a visit from your sponsor that changes everything. Your sponsor says, due to unexpected circumstances, we must finish this project one month early. We must be finished by the end of November, no matter what it costs. Just get it done. Think of this scenario in the context of crashing. If today is June 1st, how can you best utilize this technique to finish your project a month ahead of time? If you'd like more time to think about your answer, just pause the video and resume when you're ready. If you suggested adding resources to the develop application activity, that is the best answer. Why? First of all, it only makes sense to crash activities that are on the critical path. That is the only way to compress your overall schedule. Also, the sooner you address the issue, the better. The develop application activity is the only activity available to crash since it is occurring right now. If you wait too long, the opportunity may slip away. You will continue to approach the final project activities, which are on the critical path. What exactly would you do to crash this activity and compress the project schedule? Feel free to pause the video at any time and resume when you're ready. If you suggested adding resources to the develop application activity, you are correct. The number of resources you add can be determined using parametric estimating. The more resources you add, the shorter the activity duration will be, at least until the point of diminishing returns. At some point, you will achieve the most efficient staffing level for the activity. Any more resources will not result in a shorter duration. Once you estimate the appropriate number of resources to add to this activity, you can determine the cost and update the schedule baseline and budget baseline accordingly. In summary, crashing is a schedule compression technique that involves adding resources to an activity in order to reduce its duration. Crashing adds costs, but can be effective in getting your schedule back on track.